going. They're looking for something. Fuck that. I don't see no other squad cars block, no other fucking things block. Here co comes an officer now. What's the active crime scene? Okay. What is going on? What's the active crime scene? Why no, can't I, don't, I, go, I don't quite know yet. Why can't I go past this point? Public sidewalk. I did not go past this point he said to go past. What's that? I did not go past the point he said to go past. I stayed right where he said to stay. What's what's the act of crime? I get, uh, I don't have to tell you. I'm conducting an investigation. It's public information. Okay. What's the uh, what's the crime? Why do I have to stay back here and not, uh, not allowed to be blocked down the public sidewalk? That. Well, you have to give me some information. We're, we're conducting an investigation. Investigation of, of what? Criminal act. Criminal act. Yeah. Uh, police shooting. And if you go past my crime scene tape, you will be arrested. So please don't. Well, I, I understand that, but you can't uh, put block off just for an act of uh, somebody running from the cops. You can't block off a whole section of the area. I'll just go to the other side of the street and go down that side. Well, I just put up crime scene tape. So if I go past the crime scene tape, then they can consider, consider that a violation of the law. But my other static camera can get pretty far down there. And I should have had my scanner out. He's got that. <laughs> he's got that thing. Did somebody jump? He's got that tape all the way back. That's funny. May have a may have, may have had a jumper. <laughs> you only have to block this section, man. Sir, I'm the officer. I'm doing my job. I'm also the supervisor. So. All right. Your name and badge number. Officer Long, badge number fifty-one eleven. Officer Long, fifty-one eleven. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that, but you you got to should have closed. Well, I got a job to do, and you have a right to be where. And I have a job to do too, yeah, which is this. That's fine. All but right. I have a right to keep you at a distance that allows me to conduct. I have an active jumper. Huh? Do we have a jumper? I don't know, and I can't tell you anything about that. All right. Will you have a, a be able to give me a statement at the end of your no, investigation? I won't. Well, you get the public information officer I'm seeing, so I can't get a statement. You're not going to get a statement. Why not? Be, everything will be released through Officer Fari or Sergeant Yeah, and when was that? Can I get a card for would that information be released? How you doing, Officer? I'm great, how are you? Not bad. Name and badge number? Uh, name and badge number? Right All right, appreciate it. I think we have an active jumper. They say they don't have to give that information, but it is public information. If I would have had my scanner on, I would have got it recorded. 
And by the way, this is going to be a two-part segment since I uh, didn't get the first, uh, I was going to go live. And uh, let's see what we've got going on here. We've got an M7 from, I think we might have an active uh, jumper, people. We have an active jumper. Can't tell. Can't get down down in there very well. All right, whoa, let's back out. We've got a medic on scene. No medic unit. Looks like he might be going down. To, uh, I think it's an active jumper. A jumper. Officer won't release any information to me. I'm gonna push the boundaries the best I can. There we go. This ain't past this crime scene tape. Just go up there. They're down under the bridge, and there's several officers. There's also several officers on the other side of the bridge, blocking that side of the sidewalk. So I'm assuming it's an active jumper, but I, like I said, I didn't have my scanner running at the time and uh, didn't get it all. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, I can get more information. But the one uh, uh, lead officer on scene won't give me any information. He said information would be released in the mor uh, as soon as through sergeant. I'd like to find out when he released the information in the card with that time. <coughs> Back in his car, he's got his laptop going. I should have stopped and recorded in one of those ca cars to see that there's a laptop going. See if I can read his lips. Uh, uh, all right, he's saying. I uh, barely read him. Come on, I'll record it and hopefully get it later. I'll be able to slow it down so I can read him. I'm rusty at reading. It's been a while since I've had two people shout at me now because they know I'm deaf. <laughs> and, and and if you hear me get loud, everybody tells me to quiet down because I get really loud. I'll get excited and start talking loud and people think I'm yelling. And I'm not yelling, I'm just excited and, and talking loud because I'm deaf. Completely in the right ear. Now we have another officer coming up from the back of the way. Let's see if it uh, passed the fence and take. Looks like it might be a female officer. I think it is. Hi, excuse me. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Not bad. Thank you. Yep. I don't think I've seen her before. Hey, Captain. Captain. All right, I, I'm going to probably try to plug in my mic. Uh, that's for camera. Wait a minute. Let's 
captain on scene now. So, let's see. Captain on scene. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Tripod keeps messing up on me. Or monopod. Oh, he jumped. He said somebody jumped. It's definitely a jumper. Running from the cops, apparently, and just went over the edge. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, my lord. Yep, somebody went over the edge. Ran, ran from the cops, didn't want to get busted, and jumped. That's what it looked like he said. That officer with the arm motions. Yep. Yep, yep. We have a jumper. There you go, boys and girls. We have a jumper. On University Avenue at the bridge, we have a jumper. Boys and girls running from the law and decided that Apparently going to jail wasn't worth it. He jumped. Wow. Well, there you go, boys and girls. Dragon Fire News on scene with Dra reporter Dragon P. Active jumper, or ju jumped on University Bridge. Several officers on scene, I assume, trying to recover the body or to see if they can treat the person and if it's successful or not. And there's no. Can I light, turn my light on without getting yelled at? You can turn your light on, yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm cold as long as you're staying back there. No problem, man. Appreciate it. All right, we got act, active jumper on scene, running from the cops, I'm assuming. I don't quote me on that. I will try to get downtown and get a, a, more information from the sergeant, uh, the POI, public um, information officer. He usually does uh, uh, a press a press meeting, and if it's in, on tomorrow morning on Saturday, I don't have to work my day job, so my night job I will be able to possibly get there for that uh, information release. And from what the one officer there is, looked like he was following the suspect or individual. Let's not call him suspect. And uh, sound like he jumped. Don't look like this guy's too happy. He looks a little sweaty. So, I'm going to stay on scene for a few. We've got a paramedic coming in, looks like. We've got more crime scene tape. It sounds like they might be shutting some more area down. Like they might be uh, bringing up a individual or a recovered body. We're gonna see what we can get from here, boys and girls. This might be my video to put me on the map. Holy shit! Holy shit! And from that officer right there, I would like to get his name and badge number um, to, uh, so I can dock it for the public to know. Woohoo! 
Whoa, snap. What's up? Uh, um, well, they haven't released any information, but from what I can do with my reading lips and listen to what this officer here says, sounds like it was a, a in pursuit of suspect and he went over the bridge. He jumped. Do they know what that, like somebody jumped over? Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm assuming. Hello? I, I, they haven't released any information, so I can't. I can't. All right, yep, I see you. I can't, I can't, uh, don't quote me on any of that. No, you're all right, man. But, thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. That's what it sounds like. Uh, we've got another officer out here slowing down. Let's get a little close up on that. Should have brought my other tripod out, or my other monopod. Is... There I go, I can go a little taller. There, my other camera can get over the seam tape. And here comes the captain back. Captain, just real quick. I wish I could, I got some other oh, stuff to do right now. Just when is he gonna release the statement in the morning? Uh, probably in the morning. What do you work for? Uh, Dragonfire News. Okay. About what time do you know? Okay. Wow. Uh, no, no idea when they'll be able to release a statement. I can take care of Brian. And then, uh, just out real quick, name and badge number real quick, officer. Hold on one second. Hey, Chad. Uh, this is the guy that I saw doing the arm motions that the guy went over. And we can review that later in the video. Everybody else, yeah. I wish I would have my other mics on. I didn't put them in before I came. Name and badge number real quick, man, please. Stern is the last name. S what? Stern is the last name, S-T-E-R-N, 5254. Thank you very much, Stern. Officer Stern, sorry. All right, Officer Stern is the one that I've seen doing the hand gestures. Looks like he said that a person went over the edge. They got several people down there looking, I'm assuming, trying to find either a uh, individual or the, what might be the remains of an individual. No idea yet. Yet, and then again, without having this active swimmer on scene, they might not know. Look like and this is the sergeant on scene two six seven one, and I believe he told us his name and badge number. And Officer Stern still on scene. Oh. Are you writing the case on this? Unit 2703. Two seven zero three. Look, sounds like it sounds like Stern might be running lead on the case. Uh, so everybody else runs subs. Got, got a wristband on. It's Jesse something. I said. I know. Uh, I'll grab the info. Oh, release page. Uh, escape the, uh, patient. Okay. Real quick. Oh, he walked away too fast. We have unit uh, 2703, another unit backing up. Let's see if I can't get down there far enough. Uh, not with this camera, maybe. No, he's too bright a light. Let's see if the other camera will get that number. Yes, that, that uh, vehicle number is 2699. Is what that vehicle number is, 2699, the second uh, front unit. And I'm going to give you just an idea how, how quick 
I was driving up this way to go talk to one of my friends that there's one, two, three, and there's four, five, six. Just don't go on the sidewalk. Now we got way down there, we got another one, two, three, and I got passed by four or five of them. And this off, there's another officer parked up there as well. And uh, they, they were just flying through here. Now, I am not sure. I'd like to stick around for a little longer and see if they bring somebody up. But uh, don't know. trying to see with my other camera guys with my camera that I use to upload with my videos with it's not as good as it zooming in and there's really not a whole lot of light over there here comes officer Stern back here and and I'm, I'll have to like I said I'll have to review my video as well but I'm pretty sure I've seen hand gestures where it showed him say the person jumped right over but maybe this is a Friday night uh, April 30th And they were talking about some kind of wristband, so I'm assuming it might be even be a, an uh, uh, person being transported, escaping. I, you know, the escapee of some sort. But we're gonna walk back up this way and just give you a scope and degree. We have two there, two here, one way up there. Looks like he's going that way go across the road and then we are we got three more back up here and the ambulance and fire engine I assumed moved down there or they're gone so I'm not sure if I should stick around and wait and see But yeah, we've got the, just the degree and scope of how many police officers are on scene. And I believe the captain left. Uh, unit 2677 right here, the back. I believe it's an active jumper. Aww. There's a computer screen open. No officers on scene. Let's see what the calls. Let's see if I can see their cat. Oh, this cat's blocked. His CAD's off too. Damn it. Couldn't get no CAD numbers. The screens are black. And his screen's black too. All right, well, I had some other plans I had planned on doing. I'm going to go uh, accomplish those. 25 minutes on a, a
<laughs> Nothing to rile up the cops more than a bunch of loud motorcycles going over the bridge. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Love it. That's hilarious. <laughs> I bet that echoed like a mother under that bridge. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Is he going after him? Oh no. I got. I have to go get my car. Oh wait. There's another car. Oh, the lights are off. But another car's up on up there. No, that's just that one yellow light. All right, I'm going back. I'm out. I'm going to go down the road. I'm going to always keep the camera running until I get to safety. Once I'm at my safe zone, then I'll uh, shut her down. Like I said, this is Dragon Tea with Dragon Fire News. Des Moines, Iowa, we are on U University, right down from Unity Point Health uh, Center at the uh, University Bridge. We also have the monument right there, the uh, Dragon Trail, I believe is what they call it. Don't quote me on that. I, I, I saw the, uh, the sign there. I believe that's called the Dragon Trail. <coughs> then this bridge has always got that one, that other officer. No, that's not what that other officer. But like I said, we always record ourselves until we get to a safe zone. And uh oh, public works, public safety, patrol in Unity Point. <laughs> Jesus. They are thick. Go get to my car and get out of here before they try to say something to me. They're just public health anyway. Unity Point. keep the cameras rolling no matter what especially with two public health people going to act like they own the uh, parking lot or something which we will go ahead and get out of here and I have also have if you look right there ahead of you above there that's a dash cam that also sees out the rear and inside the cab so, we are completely covered with how I drive. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. keep the camera rolling a little longer and then, like I said this is the beginning of this will be a two part segment because I at first was going to uh, go live and 
couldn't get my fucking thing, so I just put her up quickly, turned it back on. By that time, he was having seam tape put up. And we were going to do a U-turn here. Oh, no, no, not here. We'll go up a little further. Get over. And we're going to go back up there because I want to go talk to a friend of mine. And, uh end this video real quick here so you put down the camera so nobody sees what I'm doing. That was pretty interesting. Alright, this is Dragon T with Dragonfire News. We're signing out.